Images of airliners being parked all around the world are beginning to pour in. And I was going to take this opportunity to share some of those images with you. Some of you are asking, what kind of procedures do you got to do for these aircraft once you park them? We've got an interesting article here in the New York Times that sheds a little bit of light on that. Like we learned in the campfire, when a disaster strikes, often first responders, the frontline people, are so overwhelmed they don't know quite what to do. Even the first responders can't tell you the answers as to what's going on. In the airline industry, this pandemic is absolutely slamming the industry at a speed and a rate much quicker than anybody within the industry could have ever imagined. They, the airlines have pandemic plans on the books, but this situation just blew that plan out of the water. One of the most lucrative routes at American Airlines is the route between Los Angeles and JFK, New York, a route that I've had the privilege of operating for several years, back on the 7576 and later on the Airbus. American Airlines Flight 1 is the early morning departure. I think it leaves from New York to uh, Los Angeles. Recently had a total of six passengers on board. American scrambling parking aircraft and also trying to get into the cargo business, flying cargo from Dallas to Frankfurt. Here's where some of the aircraft are parked at American and what they're doing with them. The parked aircraft, according to the New York Times. Around the country, American is parking its fleet as fa fast as it can. There will be a hundred airplanes parked in Tulsa, Oklahoma. That's one of their major maintenance facilities in Tulsa for American Airlines. A hundred planes in Roswell, New Mexico. The desert southwest is a very popular place for parking aircraft. There's many, many locations in the desert southwest. 50 aircraft in Pittsburgh, Moore and Mobile, Alabama, and Greensboro, North Carolina. Thousands of pilots are realizing that they may have already flown their retirement flight. They may not be coming back to work. The park planes need to be serviced daily by a team of 10 people. Every day, each plane needs to have its engine run, has to taxi far enough for the tires to rotate fully, and has to have its hydraulics, avionics, and electronics checked. Now, that's a pretty frequent maintenance schedule. I don't think that's going to be the case going forward. I think that's going to be reduced considerably. You don't need to operate the aircraft every day. It'll probably drop to a weekly schedule or something along those lines. Even then, there's some new precautions. The crews who service those planes used to be briefed in groups of 100 at a time. Now, American has staggered the shifts and is conducting 10 briefings of 10 crew members at a time. Got to keep everybody separated. And with the airlines expecting a slow recovery, many of the older planes are being parked permanently, like the Boeing 767s. Remember, in a previous update, I think it's uh, been said that they're going to have that fleet shut down permanently by May the Boeing 7576 fleet, the last of the muscle jets, the Boeing 75. So far, they've been able to avoid furloughs or layoffs of the 130,000 employees, but I think it's inevitable that layoffs and furloughs are going to happen. I don't know if we're going to get enough people to voluntarily take time off. We have no idea how long this is going to take to recover from. Even when we do recover, it's going to be a considerably different marketplace once they do. We get more information, we'll let you know. See you here. A little bit of light grapple here this afternoon. The mast to the Blanco Lirio yacht has snapped back to life once I got the load off of the mast. The mast appears to be fine. Mm -hmm.